Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Lawrence. Tonight we're hearing about heroism and survival in White Settlement. The stories coming out of the West Freeway Church of Christ. Police have identified the shooter and we've learned Keith Thomas Kanunen has been arrested multiple times in several states. Now we'll hear more about him in a minute, but first let's talk about the lives that were lost. Richard White was 67 years old. Tony Wallace was 64. Wallace's grandson had to watch his grandpa get shot, and that kind of trauma is something the young boy will have to live with for the rest of his life. Here's Jason Wheeler. Hugs offer temporary solace, but the loss of a grandpa and the memories of watching it happen are permanent for a 12-year-old boy. The gunman stood up and turned around to him, so probably like three feet away from my papa. His pawpaw was 64-year-old Tony Wallace, a deacon at the West Freeway Church of Christ in White Settlement who was offering communion Sunday when a man stood up and started shooting. Even before it happened, the deacon's grandson suspected something wasn't right about that guy in the back pew. He looked homeless and he looked like he was planning something and he had a big coat on. Oh, uh, like a fake beard and everything. You had noticed him? Yes, from all the way from over there, if I can notice him, then I'm pretty sure everybody else did too. But the shots came swiftly. Sarah Wallace describes how a loved one scrambled to tend to her father. When she heard the gunshot, she was actually the one to climb over the pews to get to him. Um, and she was just like, she was like, you're gonna make it, we love you. Her dad was a longtime nurse and actually tried to give instructions to those helping him. He was telling her, like, I just need oxygen. I just need oxygen. I mean, and he was begging them to intubate him. But it was too late for Deacon Wallace and a member of the congregation who both lost their lives at a Sunday service that people are still trying to reckon with on this Monday after. In Dallas, I'm Jason Wheeler.